And all new on Wake News, Southwest Florida is a destination for families who enjoy experiencing all the great outdoors has to offer. Wake News anchor Amanda Hall shows us where you can hit the trails to learn about the area's native plants and animals. Throughout the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel, there are hundreds of miles of hiking trails with free or minimal admission fees. Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve is one of the closest natural settings to the urban center of Fort Myers. Every Wednesday and Saturday, volunteers lead guided tours. In the past month, the guest register shows there were visitors from six different countries and 21 different states. Many of these first-time hikers are finding it's a good way to de-stress. You just get, you kind of get into your own mind. Take it all in, just peaceful, really awesome. At the Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium, inland swamps like this one are typical during the wet season. People come from all over the world to take advantage of the center's year-round educational programs. I've had uh, conversations with folks from Germany. I've had conversations uh, with folks from um, Jamaica. You know, so it's, it's a destination for individuals who want to know what Florida life was like 150 years ago, 200 years ago. Batanzas Pass Preserve has a mile-long boardwalk that winds around the back bays of Estero Island. Native coastal wildlife can be observed from an elevated pavilion along the trail. Many of the boardwalks in southwest Florida are handicap accessible, and navigating a baby stroller isn't a problem. It's the way the nature trails have evolved to accommodate the growing number of families who come here year after year to learn and explore the area's natural beauty. Amanda Hall, Wink News, now.